Hey YouTube, it's Sunday, June the 12th, here in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia. We just had a nice rain. I mean, it poured down rain. It had a little storm today, so I decided to come out afterwards just to give a little tour of the garden. First, I want to start off with my girls. They came back this year. Look at my girls. Yes, I love my girls. I love my girls. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. All right, let's head on over and take a tour of the garden and just see how things are going. You know, right here, I have um, come off some yelling. I have some some beans. I think these are the long beans that I have growing here. And in the middle, I have a tomato, a tomato plant. What type of tomato it is, I'm not quite sure. I think this is a patio um, tomato. And I have some nasturgeon that's in there as well. Here are my strawberry patch bin container, whatever you might want to call them. Back here, oh, it's a pepper plant. I need to stake that up. Like I said, we had a storm come in um, this morning. So I just came out and look and see how the garden is doing. Right here are my potatoes. You'll see they're leaning over and some of the leaves are starting to die back. And pretty much all along here in these containers are pepper plants. All varieties. I know it's um, bell peppers. I have some yellow. I have some orange. I believe it's red out here as well. And of course, that is um, my stevia plant right there. That is some mint. Of course, more peppers. This is beans and corn. Of course, more pepper plants. Of course, back there is a tomato behind my blackberry bush. You can see I got some blackberries. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get that one before the birds do. I have a couple of more. Um, that's ready. They're not all quite ready yet, but hey, this is rosemary. Of course, some more tomato. That's bean. And right here, let's see, let's move this little cage thing out of the way. And right here in these two containers is another pepper plant. I mean, not pepper, tomato, my bad. And I have some beans. I have some cucumbers. Another tomato. I think this is a bush, a blush um, tomato. This one is a Baxton bush cherry tomato. Of course, some cucumber. Another um, nasturgeon in there. Of course, over there in the corner. That's a tomato. Let's go along here in the fencing garden. I'm gonna come out and going to cut off some of the yellow leaves that's on my tomato plants in here in the fencing garden as well. Some more tomatoes. Not sure of the variety. There's no tag, no label, so I don't know. I also have some onions. I still have some onions that's going. I have some peppers. That is a purple beauty. Of course, my marigolds. Another pepper plant. I think these are the the mini, the sweet um these sweet bell peppers. Of course, this is another tomato plant. What variety this is, I'm not quite sure. Some more marigolds. Some more pepper plants. These are, the two in the front is a yellow bear. Yellow bear peppers over here. Uh, some sweet banana. And that is the name of this pepper plant right here. 
that's right there of course over here in the jungle a little bit is my comfrey plant now i'm not sure this is my first time with this comfrey i'm not sure if i'm supposed to cut all these back but i have the flowers on here and the bees love it so anybody know anything about this comfrey please leave me a comment to let me know what i need to do about this plant over here i have some more peppers these are jalapenos right here is another pepper plant and over here you can see that is another pepper right here is another pepper plant yes i have peppers all over peppers and tomatoes of course over here is more onions nice flower right here eggplant they're not really looking so good this is another pepper plant I'm not sure what type of pepper this is of course this is a tomato I'm not sure what this tomato plant is either um this was um this is a squash um it was two as you can see my other one died so I think I'm going to pop in. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in this area. I might, um, I think I have another zucchini or squash plant up there on the deck that I can fill in, um, right here. And let's go on over, over here. I'm not quite sure if I show this more tomatoes. I'm going to take that guy up out of there. And I'm going to cut this branch off here. And I'm going to stick it in there. And hopefully she will make it. And over here in my other raised bed. Yes, I have to keep the fence. Because I have a dog that is likes to get in and stuff and dig up stuff. So... And over here, we have another um, mini bell pepper, sweet bell pepper plant. Oh, that's a tomato that I broke off and I just stuck it in the ground. It's starting to show life. Some more marigolds, as you can see. These right here are my cantaloupe. They are the midget cantaloupe. So they're going to be small, you know, personal size. Not big like your average um, cantaloupe. You know, of course, more tomatoes. Not sure of the variety. And over here is my watermelon. I have some more um, watermelon transplant that I can bring out and fill in this space right here. I can at least fit two more in there. So I have some more. Right over here is my fig tree. I want to say this one is Lord Furquat, I believe. And I think my other one is Fiona. You can see she's starting, he is starting to put on some figs. Them little white bugs. I don't know what they are. You can see he's starting to put on some figs. And over here, I have to watch my step, is another tomato. I'm going to prune all off the dead leaves that's going on over here. And let's go take a look at Fiona. I believe I have a right. I might have got them mixed up when I moved them. I should have left the, the tag on them that I had the name. And of course, I don't know which type of fig tree they are because again when I put them in this um, 17 gallon um, container I took off the tag for what reason I'm not sure and over there is um, muscadines I believe and on this one Fiona is not putting on any figs that I see so far. But she's doing pretty good. I 
I have some more flowers. I know those are mums. Not quite sure the name of those. These are mums. This is a nasturgeon that mysteriously popped up on its own. I did not plant it there. Another mum. And these are sunflowers. I believe they are Mexican sunflowers. They were gifted to me. I had some elephant ears out front that I was um, redoing the front part of the yard and I was digging them up and I just gave them away because I really didn't have nowhere else to put them and I just didn't want to just throw them out so I just gift them away and a lady um, that came and picked up some elephant ears she came back the next day and gave me some Mexican um, sunflowers. I believe she said they was Mexican sunflowers, but I know they're sunflowers. And she um, gave me some sunflowers because I gave her some elephant ears. Well, this is conclude my tour. Well, no, before I end, let's go up on the deck and let's see what's going on up there. Some stuff is looking good and some is is really not. I'm not sure what's going on. So up here on the deck. Of course, this is my Texas Star Hibiscus. Thanks to Miss Lady Cheryl for the seeds. This is my one of my blueberry bush. Right here, I have some beans, green beans, and also some yellow beets that are, are in here as well. Right here, here are here is the um, other watermelon. I have two sugar baby watermelons, and this is the cantaloupe. over there is some more beans along with some beets of course the strawberries more strawberries another star texas star hibiscus that is my lemon tree which i had on the inside wasn't doing too well when i brought it out over here let me make sure. No, correction. This is my lime. Because this is... This is the... Blackberry bush. And this is the lemon. The Mara lemon. There's another patio tomato. Here are my other watermelon transplants. That I can put in those space. I have to find room for my other ones that I just showed you. Here is another... Myers lemon that died off. I cut off all the dead and you can see it's starting to grow back. So hopefully they'll do good. I'm not quite sure. They just wasn't loving on the inside. And here are some more transplants that definitely needs to go in the ground a container somewhere. Just have to figure it out. my onions that I harvest right here and I have to move them and take them to another spot there's another Texas star hibiscus this is a hibiscus plant not sure what the variety is more strawberry another hibiscus this here she's starting to put on some buds well you can see the buds are coming in another Texas star hibiscus and right here is my other blueberry bush. You can see all the blueberries. Okay guys, that concludes um, the tour of the garden and on the deck. Let's always be blessed, stay safe,
and much love to you. Until the next time.